If you're a developer and you're looking to hook up an AI image generation API, I want you to look no further than runware.ai. Okay, now I am in no way affiliated with this company, but I have to give props where props is due. I spent hours upon hours researching the cheapest AI image generation APIs, and this is far and above the best price. In a previous video, I recommended Hugging Face, specifically their inference API. And what you could do is search a model, let's say Flux Schnell, and you would see if they had inference providers. So if I click on view code and then find the Hugging Face inference API and the curl command, I could make a simple API call to this URL with a simple input and your Hugging Face API key. And then you would get back an image basically for free. I think they offered something like 50 cents on the free plan, and that could give you hundreds of images. But if you subscribe to the pro plan, which is $9 per month, they gave you up to 20,000 images generated per day. And unless you were a production ready app with thousands and thousands of users, you would never hit that limit. But sadly, all good things must come to an end. They completely changed the credit system on us. You now get $2 of inference usage, and that is across the entire month. And it's still pretty good. I was able to generate 11,000 images under that $2, but there's no way to top up any credits. I am stuck waiting until the next month, and my app relies heavily on AI image generation, and it completely shut us down. So until they add that as an option, it's disappointing, but we have to look elsewhere. So if you're a developer like me, I quickly started going through all the inference API providers to see how much their image generation costs. A super popular one is replicate.com, but the pricing still ain't it. For the stable diffusion 3.5 medium model, it costs $1 per 28 images. So just as an example, that 11,000 images that I generated last month, we are going to divide that by 28. It would have costed me $393 just to generate images. And if you're a hobbyist app, that is going to be way over budget. So I had to look at other solutions, maybe Together AI. Their pricing is a little bit better. We're getting 370 images per dollar. Still can be pretty expensive. How about hyperbolic.xyz for a 1024 by 1024 image in the stable diffusion family at 25 steps? It's about one cents per image. So if I go 11,000 times 0 0.01, that would have costed me $110. You know, arguably still pretty pricey. Not a lot of developers can afford this cost, but luckily I stumbled upon runware.ai and they're saying that they are the fastest AI image generator. They have fine tuned and they're self managing data centers. So that's why they are able to provide the cheapest costs. And if we look at the Flux Schnell model, they say you can generate roughly 16,700 images per $10 and divide it by 10 to get the per dollar. That is 1,670 images per dollar, which is five times what you can generate compared to replicate.com. And if you look across the board for Stable Diffusion 1.5, got the same amount. Stable Diffusion XL, it's a bit smaller. Stable Diffusion 3, one of the newest Stable Diffusion models, you know, 5,000 images per $10. But if you compare these prices versus something like Replicate, you're getting a much cheaper cost here. So this is what I recommend if you are building anything with AI image generation. I'm currently using it in my app, youraiagent.com. And if you wanna build it into your own bubble app, this next part of the video will show you how to set it up. First off, when you're signing up for a brand new account, if you use a business email address, so something other than an at gmail.com, they're gonna give you some free credits. They're gonna start you off with around 1,000 free images. That's gonna be more than enough for your testing stages. Once you're in, the first thing you're going to do is create an API key. So click on API keys, name it whatever you want, click create API key, and we're gonna copy that code. Over in your bubble app, we're gonna click on plugins, and you're gonna make sure the API connector is installed. So let's scroll down, click add another API, and we are going to call this run where. You're going to click add a shared header, and this is going to be authorization. 
and then bear space your secret key from Runware. So I'm creating a test one for this video. I'm gonna copy this key, paste it in right here. Next, we're going to expand API call and let's call this generate image. It's gonna be used as an action and it's going to be a post request and it's posting to this URL, api.runware.ai slash v1. And if you wanna know how I got that, on the Runware website, you can go to the top corner and then click documentation and then API reference. And we see it right here. Okay, for your text to image API call, you're gonna need some parameters in the JSON body. You can scroll through this documentation and see what is required and what is optional. I like to keep most of the optional parameters on their default. So this one, output format, we're just, we're just gonna keep it at JPEG. So we need a task type and it says it's gonna be image inference. We need a task UUID, and this needs to be UUID version four. It's a random string of numbers and digits. I'll show you how you can do this automatically within bubble in a second, so don't stress about that right now. Scrolling down here, we have positive prompt. So that's what we are going to prompt the AI image generator. Obviously, this is very important. We don't need seed image. That's only for in painting and image to image. We can skip that. Same with mask image. Height and width is required. And the values of each of them need to be, dis need to be divisible by 64. So you can do a 512 by 512 square. You can make a landscape portrait or vertical orientation, any dimension that you prefer. What's also required is the model. And to find your required model, on the left side, click models. They amazingly have over 318,000 models to choose from. That is very overwhelming. You can also add your own, or you can click certified models. They have 111 that have been certified, and you can also order by most popular. So if we're looking at here, Flux Dev is one of the most popular models. Here is Flux Schnell. There's a few other Flux models. We have Dream Shaper which appears to be a stable diffusion 1.5 checkpoint. So you can scroll through these and see which model has been catered to the output that you require. Like this one looks interesting, epic realism. And that woman's face looks super real. But when you find the model that you want, so let's go up to Flux Schnell. I'm gonna click on these three dots and then copy Air ID. And when I eventually throw it into my JSON body, it looks like this. That is the model ID that they're asking for. So after all of the required parameters are put into your JSON body, it's gonna look like this. We got our task type, our task UUID, our positive prompt, our height, our width, and our model. And in Bubble, if you put your parameter around these caret brackets, it opens up a dynamic option. So this is how your users are going to be able to input their text prompt and have it different each time. We are gonna need to initialize the call, so we need to get a UUID number. I'm gonna Google UUID version four generator. Let's click on this tool. We're gonna to generate one number. Let's click generate, and here it is right here. Let's copy this. Let's paste it in as the dynamic value. For the prompt, we are going to enclose it with quotation marks. Just gonna write a monkey eating a banana in space. And then for that model, let's copy the air ID again and paste it in here. That means it's gonna use Flux Schnell. Then we can click initialize call and look how fast it is. One, two, three, boom, the image is created. If I go to show raw data, I can copy this image URL and look, it's being saved on the runware.ai website. So you don't even need to host the images on your bubble app. That's gonna save in storage costs. So let's copy that URL and paste it in. And there we go, we have a monkey eating a banana floating in space. Flux Schnell is beautiful, it creates some amazing images. Okay, we can click save now. And now we can start building this API call into our app. I'm gonna create a new page called image generation. Let's hit create, make it look a little prettier. Go 50 pixels from the top. This is going to be our prompt. And then we need a button. That button is gonna go right below. And it's gonna say generate, let's center it move it a little below the prompt input, and then we're gonna add an image element. We're gonna keep element aspect ratio fixed. Let's go, let's go 16 by nine, center it on the page, make it 500 pixels wide, and we're gonna go 50 from the button above it. Let's click outside the page, 
And then this info button here, we're going to add a new custom state. It's going to be image. The state type is also going to be image. Let's click create. Then I'm going to click on the image element. It's going to be a dynamic image. Insert dynamic data. Image generation. That custom state of image. And the run mode rendering will be zoom. Okay, now I can click on the generate button and go add workflow. We are going to search for runware generate image. The prompt is going to be input prompts value and then formatted as JSON safe. That's going to make sure the prompt doesn't break the API call. It's also going to add quotation marks around the text prompt. For the model, we can keep it at Flux Schnell. And then we need that unique UUID. For that, you're going to click add plugins and you're going to add the toolbox plugin. So that opens up the ability to run JavaScript in your bubble app. And now if I search for an action and click run JavaScript and I'll move this before the runware generate image API and you're going to add in this code. This creates that UUID number. All I did to get this was I asked ChatGPT. I'm building an app in bubble.io and I need a UUID version 4 number. Can you write me JavaScript code to get that? And it quickly spit out this. So you can also do that as well. And then you're going to search for JavaScript to bubble. And we're going to place this on the page. We can call this UUID and then publish value. And then in the runware generate image API call, I can click on this for dynamic data and we can go JavaScript to bubble its value. Make sure the value type is text. You can also click under output one type, make that text as well. And then that will green this out, which means it's an okay value. And then the last action in this workflow, we're going to go to element action, set state, and the element is going to be the page. The custom state is image and the value is going to be the result of step two, body, first item and image URL. Now we can click to preview the page and here is our page. I'm going to go to prompt. I'm going to prompt it. An astronaut is riding a dolphin on a water planet. Let's click generate. And after a few seconds, here is our image. If you're looking for a comprehensive business suite of AI agents for your company, check out the web app I'm building live on this channel. It's called youraiagent.com. We have everything from AI video editing. What you're watching right now was edited 100% with AI and it was used with this agent. We have auto bloggers, Pinterest AI agents, automatic blue sky posters, chatbots, email support. How about scraping Google trends and then writing articles for your website? LinkedIn bots, SEO heisting a competitor's article, social listening tool, subreddit agents, automatic Amazon affiliate bots. We have Twitter bots, YouTube comment responders, scraping YouTube channels and making articles from their videos. We have a whole host of agents with more being added each week. So I'll leave a link to this in the description below. If this entire video was interesting to you and you want to learn how to take something like AI image generation and turn it into a custom web app where you can start charging customers and make an income, check out my online course, how to build a custom AI app. I'll drop a link to this in the description as well. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch and I'll see you in there later.